Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise on the all new 2025 Toyota Crown Sydney. Before you get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon to be notified of new videos. And if you like the video, please hear me out with thumbs up. Okay, let's get started here. First of all, this is a news release and the video is courtesy of Toyota. So you can see the sedan and also the Sydney, uh, which is more like a station wagon or a crossover, which way you want to think about it. And it looked pretty similar, except the Sydney is going to be a little bit longer. And we're looking at the Sydney Limited in finish line red, which is the optional color you have to pay over $425 or so for. And take a look at the vehicle first a little bit. And you can see the front fascia is the hammerhead design in particular. And also has the mesh bumper. It also appears to have the fog lamps as well too. And it looks pretty good, and I have to say. The vehicle looks really good and you have the wheel arches that are glossy black on the sides. And you notice that the headlights are very, you know, flat compared to the other models, right? Like say the RAV4 design, the previous models. And this one's going to be replacing the Venza. So all those folks that wanted the Venza get one now before it's gone. And you can see the side profile, nothing too special. The wheel arches are glossy black. You got some nice looking mirrors and the fog lamps are, it looks like yellow light though. A little bit on the engine, right? It's a 240 horsepower hyper system netting 38 miles MPG. Take note, both of the vehicles released will be hybrid. There's no ice vehicle only so take that note and with more video from Toyota and you can see the vehicle front and side profiles look really nice in particular yes there's some chrome around the window sills and stuff like that turning lights are integrated LED of course and you know they change color to yellow you notice that so that's a nice profile and 0 to 60 times about 7.1 seconds. 7.1 seconds, not too shabby. And this is a nice size vehicle. If you really like station wagons and such, which Toyota may not going to use the word wagon in particular, or you can use a crossover, I guess. This might be a nice vehicle in for the family that doesn't want a big, tall SUV or something like that. Definitely different, it gives you some options. It won't be similar like the Venza, which is more like the RAV4 in particular, just more luxurious. And this one's very luxurious. And then I'm going to show you some video of the interior as well, too. Let me show you some quick uh, still shots of the Sydney so you can have a better look instead of being in motion. And once again, this color, you're going to be extra charged for it. But tell me what you think in the comments. Do you like this particular model? the Sydney okay. so if you like the Sydney crown Sydney maybe you might want to consider it but first year models maybe have some bugs at least for the first six months or so before you uh, decide to make that big purchase but this one seems to have the 21 inch wheels as well too so it has some uh, still shots of the vehicle here you notice the chrome around the window sills on the lower part you also have the seems like panel block trim around the wheel arches and you also have it on the bottom as well too the side profile is nothing too special it's just a elongated uh, sedan in a way so but the front fascia fits the new Toyota design language hammerhead design integrated mesh in the bumper for the newer models as well too if you say the RAV4 is going to come out my guess is going to be look very similar in the front fascia so that's something to take note now before it comes out so it's not going to be too much surprising another look at the side profile and you know very bulky big side profile more like a crossover uh, maybe an SUV if you want to call it that as well too to the news article which I pretty much talked about the whole vehicle already it's only two models it's the XLE and limited grades both for hyper system all-wheel drive 240 horsepower hyper system output EPA of 38 
MPG combined. It also has a nice monochromatic grill. You can see that. And a sleek design. Available 21 inch wheels as well too. So those are options. That's why available. Premium interior seating for five and full flat second row for a 6.5 foot long cargo area. And this Toyota claims that the cabin is going to be more quiet because they put a lot of insulation as well, especially the wheel wells are, you know, so noise would be kept out. Standard leather trim seating, soft touch materials, and available panoramic glass roof. That's an option. A lot of options are on the limited, by the way. 12.3 inch Toyota touchscreen and of course the safety comes with Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 which is the latest one. Okay next we're gonna look at this particular color is the Storm Cloud and this is no extra charge for this color amazingly. So it looks probably better in person than you're looking at the video here I could tell you that but the you know in the video Everything's darkened. It almost looked like the, the block color. So storm cloud and block and there's, there's no extra charge. Notice the, the grill, you can distinguish that. Very distinguishable with the mesh grill. And it's kind of like one of the design language that everything is integrated. It's not something extra. And the Toyota emblem is on the top of the hood as well too. You got the LED headlights, also LED turn lights, changes color in particular. And Tell me what you think in the comments below. Does it look like a station wagon or it's a crossover or it's an extended sedan? I mean, it's supposed to be more of a premium compared to the current Venza. Of course, the price also went up as well, too. You know, Toyota want to sell more upscale vehicles on the Toyota batch at the same time. So initially, they're starting out with a limited models, limited colors interior and exterior so uh, the interior color is going to be black or I'm going to show you the, the interior with the saddle tan and that looks pretty good saddle tan I can tell that and 0 to 60 time of 7.1 seconds I think it's very much achievable similar to other Toyota vehicles out there this one packaged all together so which is your favorite color I guess and you know this one you don't have to pay extra for i mean is it like gray or it looks different in the pictures i noticed that this one in particular you notice the the fog lamps are a little bit high i mean i'm a little bit surprised that toyota put it a little bit high yes it's you know but it looks pretty good overall now take a look at this i mean it's a different video and different time I guess and you can see it's a different color it's more like blue so the color kind of changes I guess if you think about it you know unique color you know you don't have to worry about washing it and storm cloud you know keep note of that and there's a reason why I told it put this color out it's kind of unique in a way as well too and this Sydney uh, see the bar in the back the tailgate area goes all the way through from the left to the right he also has a wiper as well hyper electric vehicle limited so let's see the bottom part it looks like there's some kind of bar as well too I don't know it's a light you know on the bumper so you can see that also there's the reflectors on the left and right as well too and another view of the front fascia you know, you got the chrome around the window sills, of course. And this one was with the lights on in particular. Okay, so here's a picture of the oxygen white. They don't have a video on that. So I just want to throw that in here so you have an idea how it looks like. And here's the interior. Saddle tan, like I mentioned before. I could say the interior looks pretty nice. Definitely pretty nice. And there's actually a lot of different uh, angles of this in particular. And you can see that, you know, the nice size infotainment. I think the infotainment screen is 12.3 inch, right? And you can see the doors very much have soft text. 
very luxurious interior, especially for a Toyota, and a little more upscale than, say, the current Venza. There's some bronze around the steering wheel, you can see that. And it's also a touchscreen as well, too. So controls are very much in reach, and there's a lot of buttons that you could, you know, really touch and control. So passenger compartment, fine touches, steering wheel, you got the phone buttons on the left, you know, the menu buttons. On the right, you got the cruise control, the different modes, following distance, and also the shifter here, eco, normal, and sport, I'm pretty sure. And also shifter is more like the Prius shifter and similar to some of the Lexus models, in fact. So it's kind of crossing the line for this vehicle, you know, resemblance to some of the luxury models. So you get a little touch of luxury model, but not a all the luxury touch yes there's a t charger that stands your phone up and also usb a as well too you can see that right here and your phone going to be standing upright instead of sliding back and forth flat let's take a look at the seats over here and it looks like there's going to be a lot of cushion all right so very plush seating the material is you know it's better than average Toyota material I wouldn't say it's gonna be at a Lexus quality level but definitely a lot of stitching and piping on the seats you can see that and it's gonna be a nice cushy seat in a way and the back you can see three comfortably two in the front so five passenger vehicle Toyota crown also on the mat in the back so there's no indication that uh, spare tire is going to be included, but I assume the Toyota brand will include a spare tire, but I could be wrong in that. So here's the gauge cluster. Okay, so let's look at the instrument cluster here, and you notice the charge equal and power is on the left, and you got the speedometer on the right, you got the clock, the temperature outside, you got an EV mode that shows up, you could do a custom eco mode, you could do normal, sport, and custom. So different drive modes. And I'm really surprised that there's a little map in the middle. You can actually get that, change the falling distance. And customizable very much in a way. Uh, right now it's kind of half used and 307 miles. I'm sure you're gonna get more miles. Um, yeah, it's very different, very upscale, very modern. Another look at the Qi charging so you can stand up your phone and also the vents has some chrome as well too okay so a little bit on the crown sydney manufacturer suggested retail price and there's two models i'm gonna talk more of it in a minute and also there's a destination fee and let's take a look at the pricing first so if you're looking at the base that's an xle hybrid all-wheel drive at 43,590. And there's a limited hybrid all-wheel drive that's going to be 47,990. And there's also a handling fee of 13,95. Okay, say so we want to look at the different packages, and there's actually only one package, and it's only for the limited right now. So available on the limited grade only, panoramic view monitor, that's like 360 monitor with parameter scan. Very nice feature of 360 view. Power folding outside mirrors with paddle lights and reverse tilt down feature. So they tilt down when you back up, I'm pretty sure. And you can see the left or the right it helps you with parking and stuff like that. Also, there's a traffic jam assist. It needs the Drive Connect trial or subscription is required. Front, uh, front cross traffic alert. So, you know, traffic on the left or right that comes, it will be, you know, show, show you that there's traffic. Lane change assist. I haven't used that in my vehicle, but it helps you change lanes, I guess. Front and rear parking assist with automatic braking. Nice feature. So, you know, it might brake when there's a vehicle or when you're parking too close or something like that. Now on the pink colors. 
So Toyota, like many manufacturers, are charging for special paint, and some of them are standard. Standard ones are Storm Cloud, the one we saw in the second video, and Black. All right, premium colors are Finish Line Red, which is the first vehicle we've shown, and Oxygen White is the last vehicle we've shown, and Bronze Age. So there you have it. So that's this Crown Sydney. Hopefully you liked the video surprise. Really appreciate a thumbs up, comment to share. Please leave it below. Please much subscribe and see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.